I'm here today to give you a daily update on Stella X. LM, nearly forgot it then, XLM, as you can see guys, massive, massive level of support coming through from the Black Swan event, the all-time, well, not the all-time low, but the Black Swan event coming through for, for COVID back in March 2020, you can see the level of support, they were actually forming along this zone continuously in terms of, um, in terms of a level of support coming through on this upward slope and support line, really not looking, too, not looking too bad. I would say the range that we've created is this low point, and then we obviously we do have this high point on these all-time high levels coming through there. Not looking too bad. You can see actually the resistance coming through from this zone, really, really quite strong, creating a parallel channel to the upside. Really looking pretty good there, but. We are on the lower side of this parallel channel, but also we do have a pretty strong horizontal in this as well. Obviously, guys, this is the long term. This stuff isn't going to be happening overnight. We, we can see a very nice horizontal coming through as well from these lower highs from the from the previous like May crash. But what I would say is potential for breakout scenario. And when I say breakout scenario, hello money. It's around 38.69% there. As you can see there, very nice measure move to the upside here. Breakout scenario around 38% there. Really, really quite good. So it's definitely something to be looking out for for the future there. This is where it gets really quite interesting just because if we drop down a bit here, you can see we do have a parallel channel, guys. We can, you can see we've got a bit of a range here. Here. You can see we've got support. You can see we've also got many levels of resistance along this zone. We have actually just broke this zone. Only yesterday we broke this zone in terms of breaking this range. So we could actually be looking for another breakout scenario here if we can get a nice bounce up, right? If we can get a nice bounce up, we could be basically activating this breakout scenario, activating this 37.57% long. And obviously, staggering take profits all the way up, guys. First take profit is going to be forty-four cents ninety-five. As you can see, mass, mass resistance along this zone. Definitely, definitely um, a level of um, a level of taking profit to be looking out for. Then the next level is going to be around forty-nine cents five eight. That's another point to be looking out for there. And I probably will be banging a few more actually as we actually ride that wave up. You can see resistance coming down from this zone fairly strong as well. And the reason why we do this, guys, isn't. It's, it's, it's primarily just because we don't want to be going for this 37, 38% gain there just straight off the bat because the likelihood of us having reversals along the way is pretty likely, right? And you can basically hit a take profit and you basically take your stop loss, you move your stop loss to your entry. You've already taken profit. If you have the reversal and you come all the way back down, it's going to be a successful trade at the end of the day. You're still going to be a winner. You're still going to be a winner, guys. It's as simple as that. Um, and also, if you do actually um, see reversals coming through there, you can actually take profit and then you can re-enter if the support is actually holding out on, on, on previous, previous some take profits there um so yeah really really quite good stuff and then obviously you can trail your stop loss as you come up there so yeah really really quite good um in terms of um trading strategy there now in terms of um moving through to the to the midterm here for um for a bit of stellar as i was just discussing this parallel channel coming through there this is the range that we're currently breaking. We are currently in this bit of a trap zone coming through. So if we do lose this level of support, I would expect us to be coming down lower to around this 36 cents there. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's see if we can hold this level of support at um, around 40 there for now. That's going to be the ideal sort of scenario. Let's bring up some moving averages and volume weighted ATR bands. Yep, as, as expected there, volume weighted ATR band coming through on the four hour. You can see actually the resistance from this zone here, very, very strong actually. If we, even if we do get above it there, we are actually seeing a pullback coming through. So this is definitely a point to be looking out for there. If we can get above it, um, if we can get above the volume weighted ATR band there, we tend to usually sometimes trend above it quite strongly um, if, we do, if we do lose it there. Um, if we do lose it, obviously we come back inside of there. But sometimes, as you can see, we do actually trend quite strongly above the volume weighted ATR band. So it's definitely going to be a point of confluence to be looking out for there for Stella for the future there. And that's going to be at a price target around uh, 42 cents there. So yeah, interesting stuff to see how that is going to plan out for the future. But yeah, that, that's pretty much going to be your daily update today there on Stella.